Have you seen the new Minecraft movie trailer? Did you see the villagers? Hello. Hello. And did you notice the chicken shop? I built that in Minecraft. Welcome to another episode of... Hi, I'm Bord, and in this series I build stuff and learn how things work in Minecraft. Let me show you how I did the chicken shop. The world download is available in my Patreon page. Show it some love, please. Let's take a look at the chicken on the roof, then the exterior, and finally the interior. Let's begin with the chicken feet. The chicken feet were made with bamboo slabs and a yellow wool. Moving into the body is made with quartz. Well, smooth quartz. We have stairs and also some slabs. You see how I did the wings? Tried to make them a bit rounder and, and just fingers. <laughs> I don't know. No, no tail, no nothing. Just flat bottom. Here's the other wing. I made the chicken a bit wider than what I would normally do. So, I don't know. It's, it's been well fed. Yeah, you know what's going to happen to him, right? <laughs> there we go. Then we have... The face with a red wool, yellow terracotta, and a yellow carpet. We have some slabs for the top of his head, so it doesn't look too <laughs> brainy, you know what I mean? And black wool for the eyes. In Spanish? Pollito! In most of my worlds, I've always built a chicken like this. Now, something different from this chicken, though, is that it only has three blocks wide. I usually build Pollito in about four blocks wide on the head, but it didn't quite fit because the build is a nine blocks wide. So if I did Pollito with four blocks, it will be uh, one sided. A uh, ladder will stay a bit to the left or to the right. So I decided to build a new Pollito right in the middle so it fits the build, you know? So it's symmetrical on either side. Tell me, what do you think of Pollito? Does it look cute? I think it looks cuter than the regular uh, four blocks pollito. So it's a very nice, nice chicken. Tell me what you think. Let's move down to the exterior of the build. So the basic part of the build, let me clear my inventory, has been made with terracotta and stripped birch log. I have added a bit of smooth sandstone in some areas and also part of the interior, but not yet. Right at the front, we have extra decorations with some buttons. We have stairs, slabs, and some trap doors. So to make it a bit more varied, so a bit looks more interesting. And on the sides, careful! I almost hit my face on the on that plant here. We have some chicken on the on the outside. We have some banners too, with some orange banners to add a little bit of ambience. And especially when you go to a butcher or a a place that sell chicken they have something to avoid flies getting in and out so i thought this could be a good idea to to exemplify that moving to the front of the build we have a couple of lanterns a couple of more buttons some trap doors right through the banner i thought they look cool and also you see it on the trailer the lever this unfortunately this lever doesn't do anything on this build but probably on my next episode, I will do actually a chicken cooker that you press the lever or you flick the lever and then cooks the chicken like in the trailer. But this is more like a build rather than a redstone tutorial. So, uh, so next episode, if you can, it would be greatly appreciated if you subscribe to this channel. I will be forever grateful if you do. Thank you. And you can like the video too if you want. Cool. All right. So... We continue the exterior by going with mangrove stairs all the way around to give texture, depth, and also to separate the first floor with the roof. So we have two blocks of orange terracotta and diagonal all the way up. And on the sides, we, I repeated the pattern exactly the same way on every single side. And added some black stained glass paint to... So it looks similar to the trailer, and actually you can see how the chicken are behaving in there. Pretty cool. I think some of the chicken are getting trapped, but that's beside the point. They'll die soon. And and I was um throwing chickens down, down here. <laughs> A very cool roof, very simple design. Almost looks like an, an old McDonald's restaurant. I don't know. It's, it's very cool. 
And I think that does it for the exterior. Tell me what you think. Did you like the roof? It's a simple enough. Would you build something like this? I think it's very simple, very easy to build. And, and I'm just loving the whole vibe of the Minecraft trailer. This is so cool. Now, let's do a bit of the exterior and then we'll move into the interior, the actual chicken shop. Let's start on the right. We have a couple of chicken waiting to be... Um, yes, you, you know what's going to happen to them. So they're waiting patiently. We have some leaves to, to make it more interesting. Uh, I thought about making a more builds here to add to the village, but this is not the resting place of this build. I am going to move it into my creative server that I have with my kids. This could be part of the Minecraft server. We have a village and all that kind of stuff. So it will go in there. It will go in there. So lots of barrels. We also have more barrels and some decoration with a decorated pot, bamboo. I'm pretty sure there is a um, pot in there too. And then a couple of leaves and a cilia leaf, so it looks nicer. Let's move to the left hand side, clear my inventory. Now we will start with some hay bales on the left hand side. It looks like it's been used and lived in. We have some mud brick stairs and jungle fence all the way up to some spruce trap doors and a couple of hanging signs made out of oak. Continue on the outside, we have more barrels, some more leaves, another pretend house right there or another shop we have more of these decorated pots and i thought a campfire will do kind of well to add some movement to the build you know minecraft things don't really move so add things like that and it just makes it more alive same with the banners the banners move a little bit as you can see really adds i don't know a, a sense of like the world is alive now on the outside we have some sort of a juice dispenser you can notice that on the trailer, so I did this with a honey block, then a block of redstone. I have a lever right on the front, so it looks like the juice, juicy orange juice, looks like the orange juice is going down here into this pot. It almost looks like it's it has something in it. It's <laughs> so good. Um, I did it with some uh, bamboo trapdoors and scaffolding and i added another barrel on the front so it looks like they're using this area uh-huh very nice clear inventory and let's move to the interior of the shop there is no entrance to the to the shop so i don't know how he gets in a mist mystery I, I actually i didn't think of adding an entrance so we'll, we'll maybe maybe i should do something like this so that he goes through uh, anyways <laughs> no, he's clearly saying no. So he is a butcher from the plains biome. And he's stuck there forever. So we have a cup here. I don't know why. Maybe tips? <laughs> I don't know if he's going to get any. And some a pro produce? No, not produce. Like proper chicken cooked food. Yes. Right. And then this is, this is his view. He has a nice view. So here he can hide his valuables. And he can have some ka -ching on this side. Uh-huh. We have a nice chicken banner. That's such a good design. I absolutely love it. If you want a tutorial on how to do the, the chicken banner, let me know. And we'll do an episode separate on that. Or a short or something like that. And then we have cooked chicken in here. Um, raw chicken and then cooked chicken. So you, you can see that this is clearly a shop. I, I, I told you already we have some lanterns. And inside the shop, I tried to simulate a bit of what you can see on the trailer. So you, I, I did smooth sandstone stairs with some sandstone and some cat one going around almost like it's fortifying the area because you have lots of chicken at the top and the lava, of course, to cook the chicken. As you can in the trailer, whenever you flick the lever, this opens up and a chicken comes or the lava comes in where the chicken is and it turns into cooked chicken but as i said before i will do that on a redstone tutorial instead or a redstone video it doesn't do anything at the moment i'm sorry right let's move into the kitchen we have glass iron trap doors and a, a birch trap door right there just to cover the lava and we have lava to cook the chicken that are supposed to come down from the top when we flick the lever lever and going in here getting cooked and given by this butcher right here on the left hand side we have an armor stand 
with some apron. It's an old apron. Don't don't mind me. <laughs> we have uh, all the cooking utensils right here. We have some barrels. We have some smokers. We have a crafter, of course. A cauldron to wash our hands. We have a smithing table that looks like he is smashing the chicken there with a, I don't know, some sort of plate on top. As another smoker, this one has smoke coming out from underneath. You know how that how that works? There's a trick. There is a campfire underneath. Uh-huh. Brilliant. And the floor is made out of beehives. The, that's such a cool texture. And uh, the texture rotates according to where you are looking at when you place them. Very, very cool. And then we have a, I don't know, some sort of a potion. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe to do some, some juice. <laughs> I'm not sure. A, a block of random thing. Maybe a cage to trap uh, one of the chickens. And another one here to clean when, you know, the, tr the shop closes at night. And you have to clean everything. You know, just a drain. It, it, all the yucky stuff go in there. Uh-huh. And we also have some iron bars and some chains. Connected to some stone cutters. Very gruesome. I know. I didn't want to add a chicken here getting cut out a bit too far. So I decided to do something a bit more mild. There's no blood going around. Maybe I can just quickly add. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Hmm. Okay. A bit too far. A bit too far. In a dragon egg. So this is the, I don't know, the, the main attraction, you're selling chicken and you have a big egg here? I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. But it makes it look like it's a really good place to actually uh, work. And then you have all your tools and all the things that you need for the chicken. And also right here, there is a bell. So when your order is ready, you go bing. And then your order is ready to go. And that is it. That is my chicken shop inspired by the minecraft trailer <laughs> i absolutely love it it's so good i had a ton of fun designing all this looking at the trailer and looking at all the different things all the little details and being able to reproduce them in minecraft and design a new chicken i absolutely love this guy it, it looks so chunky it looks so chunky it's so adorable I kind of like the fact that he's smaller than the normals, the normal chickens. Very cool. So, let me know if you want a tutorial of any of this, of how I built this. I don't, I didn't want to bore you with all the details. And if you want a tutorial on how I built Pollito, just let me know. I'm, I'm more than happy to do those things for you if you're interested. And let me know if you're, if you liked it. Please, <laughs> let me know if you liked it. I'm gonna have a drink. <laughs> And while I'm having a drink, please let me know if you enjoyed this video. Uh, please consider subscribing and liking it, of course, if you liked it. Let me know in the comments any suggestions and improvements and any feedback about uh, this build. And up here, there is another video that I think you would be interested in. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!